I am just a normal guy, just like you, trying to grow his business, right? And so I want to show you guys a few things. First off, I want to show you guys that I do, my, my business is like out of my garage. It's not perfect. I don't have a warehouse yet. But this is what I'm working with right now. And we've gradually been expanding over the last two years. Now, I've had different types of booths, as you guys can tell. And I got a couple of 360s over here. Have another one in storage. And I, I've i developed lots and lots of experience over the last two years to know what works really well and what creates drama, what creates little friction. Look at this beautiful backdrop behind me, guys. Look at this. This is 12 centimeters. In the past, we've used something a lot more thinner, and it wasn't convenient. Another issue that I had was with this specific types of backdrops, it was very difficult to zip the bottom. But look at this. I was able to zip it very, very easily all the way, you guys can see. When it comes to selecting what booth you want to buy. I highly recommend that you guys don't make the mistake of buying a humongous mirror booth because that thing is massive. And you have to think of your future employees, how difficult it's going to be for them to set up at an event and also the training process. So what I did is I finally designed a booth that's going to be very, very, very friendly when it comes to my photo booth attendants. So you guys have to get to a point in your business where you guys have employees, and that's exactly where I'm at now. And what I want to show you is that this specific booth, I can shoot vertical. See that? And it's, it's only one wire coming out. That one wire, I'm able to use my flash head right over here, my camera, the iPad that's inside. And I'm running everything together, which is amazing. So the, this, uh, this right here is connected to the iPad. Um, and I'm going to jump into the specifics here with you guys because I kind of did this here on my own to make it ideal. By the way, a lot of you guys already have an existing iPad. A lot of the manufacturers were just offering the, the, the big iPad, right? The, the Pro, the 12 point, I think 12.9. And it's beautiful. It's, it's huge. The real estate is amazing. But it'll be nice if we can work with what we already have. I have an iPad Air 5th generation. I have a couple of these iPads. I have another one right on there. And so this to me is, is, is beautiful. Um, and so what I'm trying to get to is when you guys are starting your, your photo booth rental business, I don't recommend get, getting a mirror. In fact, this is going to sound super crazy, but I'm just going to be very, very honest with you guys because I've always told you, since the very beginning that I want you guys to be successful in your business. And a lot of you guys have acquired some success over time. So congratulations for doing the work. But the guys, a 360 booth is very heavy. And so it's limited to 360 videos. And the fact that if you guys go on Google search engine and type in 360 photo booth, if you notice that everyone's grandma and neighbor have a 360 booth, you realize that it's becoming saturated with the 360 booth service. So what does that mean? Well, it means a few different things. It means that you're going to compete with a lot of people offering the 360 booth services. So you have to find a way to stand out from the competition and enhance the overall experience and overall production. And so there's different ways you can do that. For me, I like adding a lot of um, ambiance, a lot of atmosphere effects. So I'll bring laser lights, RGB lights. I use the fog machine and it creates a really cool effect. A lot of folks don't do that. In the beginning, I had the wedding cold sparks, but now in California, you have to have a pyro, pyro uh, license to use those cold sparks, unfortunately. So if you get the 360, also I want you guys to keep in mind that with the 360, you have to have a car that's large enough to house that 360. Plus on top of that, your car, sedan, or SUV, or van, it has to have enough space to place all these stanchions guys because remember for the 360 booth we definitely want to block off uh you know we want to hinder people from running into the booth while it's in motion so we use stanchions so these stanchions also take up a lot of space that's another thing that you guys want to consider as far as cost and when it comes to the logistics and also hiring either empl employees or contractors their car has to be big enough to fit the entire setup on top of that 
the 360 booth, it's not the lightest booth. It really, it's really not like around 70 pounds. So, and it's, it's pretty wide. I use the 100 centimeter because it's, it's perfect in my opinion, as far as how many people you can put on it. There's a lot that is unfolding right now in the business at an accelerated speed. And that's because I constantly want to continue gradually growing, growing as a business, growing as a person, as a business owner. So this is the reason why I want to start making these videos that are a lot more informative and not just build around the hype. I want you guys to invest wisely because I do understand that some of you guys, you know, it, it took you close to a year to save up a few thousand dollars and those few thousand dollars are about to be invested in, in, a, in a dream and a vision that you have, you know, that, and this is primarily to the folks that want to start a photo booth rental business. And so I want you guys to do your research. Now, when it comes to this specific booth, this is called uh, Mr. Professional. I love it for many, many reasons. And there are only a few things that I don't like about it. And so let me talk about this specific booth. If you guys shop around, you know that there are a lot of manufacturers and there's a manufacturer out there that makes a booth that almost looks identical to this one. Let me grab the remote. And the thing is, their package is a little over $4,000, closer to $5,000. So that to me, it doesn't include the iPad, it doesn't include the camera, so you still have to buy those things. It's pretty expensive. So I've been, like I said, buying different types of booths, and, and I wanted to put together the perfect booth. Now you see this booth right over here? This booth was one of my favorite booths for a while until people started designing better models, more efficient models. And so I'll give you some of the pros and cons of this booth right here. It's, it's turned off. Um, I wasn't planning on making this video, but somehow, some way I was inspired to just get up and start sharing this information with you guys. So this is an LCD right here. This is about a four foot LCD, which is great because it gives you a bunch of real estate. The pro is that it does give you a lot of real estate to market, promote, and just brand a specific event or your business if you're doing like a sponsored event. Now, the downfall is that you see the, the base. So the base should be should have been wider coming out this way so it doesn't tilt so easily front and back. The width is okay. This thing is really heavy. I think it's close to being as heavy as the 360 booth. Keep in mind there's a huge LCD in there and a computer and the head and the base. And so when it comes to breaking this down, here's what I don't love about my old my old booths. And I can actually make this video now because I had my fair share of looking at different booths. Plus on top of that, going to the photo booth expo where there was a hundreds of different photo booths, I got to see a lot of different designs. A lot of you guys have these two booths right here. All right, so I was talking about some of the pros and cons. Both of these have very similar pros and cons. Here's another con. When you guys are going to the event, why should we pull out, you know, tools, whether it's a drill gun and drill these four right here? Like why, why do we need to go through all that trouble? See this on all four, that is, that is not sexy. Another thing to remove this, this breaks down into one, two, three, four pieces. Okay. And so honestly, it's not so bad, but here's the thing, guys, is these things are heavy. Yes, they are heavy. And so um, this is only iPad, and this is great because I can always drop these off, and these can still make me some money, which which is re really cool. Um, but the, the iPad selfie camera doesn't take the best photos, but some folks just want to have fun, and that's perfect because they're not going to really be looking into the resolution and saying this photo is not the sharpest photo I've seen in my life. So it's about making it fun. So these booths are still good to go. Um, another thing is this thing eats up a lot of power because it's eating up a lot of power because of the uh, light it's outputting, okay? So these are still good. I still like them. But over time, I said, I want so I want a DSLR booth. And then I bought this booth right here. Um, is it plugged in? It's not plugged in. And this one was going to be like my to-go booth because I was going to attach a flash head on the top and add a camera in there. But then I realized there's an actual glass layer covering the camera lens, which is another layer that is going to take a little bit of that sharpness and clarity away. 
On top of that, there's a Surface Pro in here. I don't like Surface Pro. I love iOS because as some of you guys that are seasoned and are been in the industry, it, it's just so much easier to work with iOS. So this one right here, quite honestly, it's not been to not even one event because just the, the setup on it was was just different. And um, this this head right here is crazy heavy. But I love the design. Even even the round shape here at the bottom is also great with this LED strip right here that look really nice. I, I can actually turn it off for you guys and put it right here. See that? It's a gorgeous booth. It's actually a really beautiful booth, but I'm going to sell it to someone who doesn't mind using the Surface Pro and they can use this for their business. And I'm probably practically going to give a massive discount. It's never been used. Um, and, and and that's what it is, right? It's, that's that's all it is. And, and so, mission. And here, this is it. It's really, really plain. That's all we have going on. You can hear the fan. You hear the fan there. But, you know, after a lot of research and a lot, a lot of talking to a ton of manufacturers, I've been working on this specific booth right here because I love it. It just, it's beautiful and it's so functional. And like I said, it only has a few cons to it that I'm going to gladly point out because I don't like sugarcoating stuff. I like just giving you guys my honest feedback. And in the past, I've been kicked, I have been kicked out of groups for uh, sharing, you know, experiences that I was going through, whether it was software or hardware, some of these suppliers and, and software developers uh, removed me from their, from their uh, Facebook groups. And I don't know why they did that. I was only voicing the community's uh, issues. So as you guys can see, you can actually place your camera right in here. And these are going to be used to either tie in it or loosen it. You put your camera right in here and the lens sticks out that way. Here's what I love is that we can use it in landscape mode or it comes with an adapter where we can actually switch it over to portrait mode, just like this, like you're seeing right here. Another thing, guys, is that I have a button right here. I can press this button. And if we're doing an event outside in the heat, it, it, uh, it, it activates the fan that's right there. So it pulls out the heat. Let me turn that off. I don't need it right now. I am indoors. Another thing, this booth right here is lighter than all of my booth. And when it comes to assembling it, I'm going to put together a video showing you guys how I, how easy it is to assemble. And all it is is this bottom part right here, one, two, three, and then the head goes on. Now, the e right here, we're dealing with four screws, right? Right here, we're only dealing with two screws. And... You can turn it with no tools. It's just knobs, which is pretty freaking amazing. Here, let me show you. Not, I put it in, uh, on here nice and tight, so we barely get any wiggles, but it's um, it's the easy setup right here. And I'll pull it out in five, four, three, two. See that? Here's one thing. We can actually make this a little shorter. That way, when we're tightening it, it takes less rotations see for me guys it's it's constant just making it better making it better making it more efficient so that the photo booth owner has an easier time setting up and also their employees uh, have an easy time setting up because we, we're paying our employees hourly right so we want to make sure um, it's everything is optimized as you can see there's one two three four five uh, outlets there uh, i am only using currently right now with this setup i'm only using one two three so i still have two left but quite honestly the way i rigged everything this is it i'm good to go i have a wedding today that's why i have a lot of these things out right now it's it's a thursday today but yeah we we get weddings during the weekdays too i powered it up um with the flash point here this right here is is top of the line i wouldn't recommend you guys going with something like this Okay, this is like super strong and it's an amazing flash that it's used professionally for outdoors too. But you guys can get a Godox uh, 300A and, and be fine. And that thing runs for like 125 bucks. Now there's different types of umbrellas you can use. These are reflectors. There's 
there's uh, soft dishes, there's reflectors, there's uh, there's just so many different types of ways you guys can set up your booth. But this is what I, how I'm setting it up right now. However, I'm going to make more content on the different types of setup that will complement your overall theme or the client's theme. And then also just know that when you guys buy these right here, it is going to come with this baby pin. I used to call this a uh, flash uh, rod holder, but after listening to Rex's videos, this is called a camera baby pin. And this is about eight inches long, which is pretty cool because it elevates the flash. And so now that the flash is elevated, when you get your folks standing right here, even if it's like a group of five or 10, everyone's gonna get a flash. Everyone's gonna get that light. So it's nice and up and high. Nice and up and high, that sounds funny. All right, and another thing here is, I'll circle around. Right now, there's the, the plates right here. Okay, one of the plates. This is a plain white plate right there. And then this one has a, a, a sticker on it, but this will be like a, like a mirror. And then, and then you can sub it and put it on top like this. Now, here's another uh, con going back to these older models, which are probably thinking, damn, Dave, you're really bashing your old models. They made you a lot of money. Yes, they made me a lot of money, but we work together. Like I work on them and then they work with me. So what I mean, I, I work on them is to take off the I to take off the iPad off of this bad boy. We had to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had to remove these little eight screws right in here to take the, the iPad head off, right? And once we took the iPad off, we still had more screws that are pressing the iPad towards this right here. So it was a lot of work. And what I ended up doing is to save myself some time, I ended up buying another iPad just so that I can leave one inside at all times so that I wouldn't have to go through the troubles again of removing all those screws and then removing, I think it's four, four more screws to take the iPad out of this head right here. I like this head though, because you can e easily tilt it down and up for taller people. So that that's pretty cool. And this one right over here, here's, here's something that's really cool that probably a lot of you guys don't know. When it comes to buying a photo booth, this iPad, the cable that goes connected to the power goes all the way down and connects to a hub down there. Or, char or charging station. And so it doesn't produce enough power to keep the iPad charging consistently to a point where even though it's on, on bright, the brightness is set up all the way up high, it'll still keep charging and going up versus it dying slowly. So the type C right here, it's gonna give you over 30 watts and it's gonna, it's gonna power up your iPad and keep your iPad at 100% the entire time. And this is beautiful. The reason why I think it's beautiful is because, you know, I told I told the manufacturers, like, yeah, guys, the iPad, you know, this booth I want you guys to make for me, I wanna make sure that it's a type C so it can charge up my iPad rapidly. And they said, all right, we'll work on it. So boom, here it is. Now this is how it looks without the plate. Let me show you the plate that goes on here. This is the plate that goes on here. And here's what here's what I love. You see this guys? Look at these are twist offs and it's only four. In reality, when you guys get yours, all you really have to do is loose uh take this one off and this one off, and you can just slide your iPad inside. So you're really only removing two. Remember those over there? Those are old school. And it's crazy, you're probably thinking like David, you, you sound so uh you sound so well, it's spoiled. And here's the thing, guys, is yes, we are spoiled. So photo boothers 15, 10 years ago, they had to move around heavy photo booth. You know, I'm talking about over 100 pounds. And here we are. We went from something like this. And now, you know, 2024 and up, we're moving to models like this, where this right here is crazy light. In fact, this is so light, I might be able to carry it with one arm. Imagine carrying it with one arm. I know damn well I can't carry this with one arm. Here, let me make an attempt for the video to carry with one arm. So one hand's holding the phone, and I'm just gonna show you the base to see if I can get it off the ground with one hand. 
Ready? Steady. Go. Yep. So I was able to pick it up with one arm and one hand with my strong hand. <laughs> and so another thing that doesn't go unnoticed is it has soft clothes. What that means is if I go like this, right? It, 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 it's going to close on its own like that. I think that's what it's called, soft clothes. Go ahead, open it. So that stands out. Mm. What else can I share with you guys? You can actually, so the lumens on this right here are really, really high. What does that mean? That means that if you guys are at an event, for example, or say you buy this specific booth, you don't necessarily need a flash head. I use a flash head because I want the quality to be extraordinary, which is why I switched to the DSLR cameras, the mirrorless cameras. But look guys, this right here, check this out. It is super bright. Here, let me go ahead and switch it around and, and point the phone at my space so you guys can see how my face starts lighting up. All right, that's 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 the brightness right there. That's the, as bright as it goes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. Okay. So once again, you guys don't need a flash, but you do have the option to add a flash at two, which I think personally, not only gives the quality a boost, but also the presentation. Like people can see this from a distance. If everyone's eating over here and then they see that entire setup over there, that umbrella really adds that, oh, what's going on over there? It looks like something, a professional shoot out there. Yes, it's a professional shoot. Exactly what it is. Or you guys can have a more compact, sleek look like this. Just know that you guys have the option. Now, these, these guys are going to be available on my online store. And so to help everyone watching this video, I wanted to also not only come up with a really good solution as far as what photo booth I can help design to be great as a production tool, but also very easy to use. And here's, here's another thing, by the way, you, you guys are gonna love this part. This entire booth, fits in that. Yeah, so check this out. This is probably like the big highlight. See that? I can grab it like this. There's wheels here at the bottom. Boom. And where are we going? See that? Yeah, so you guys can actually fit this in a sedan, in a coupe, and you are good to go. Now, all... All you will really need from this point on, because this, like I said, this houses the entire booth. And for my photo booth attendants, what I'll do is I'll leave the iPad inside. So I'll leave the iPad inside and then the camera, because I, I'm, I love my cameras, the cameras I'll, I'll take out. So the camera, I won't leave inside. The camera, I just un unhook this right here. I'll twist it and the camera comes off. But everything else, um, it's it's broken down into one, two, three, or four parts. And it's super easy. I'll make a video exactly uh, and show you guys how to assemble that. So when you guys buy yours, you guys have this great tutorial in-depth video shot by your boy, David Rodriguez. All right, so back to uh, the booth. So yeah, if everything fits right in here, so it's compact. And on top of that, the only thing you would probably need aside of that is probably one more box that can range from like a size like this little guy that's uh that's 12 gallons and the reason why is right here you can place anything extra you know whether it's extra cables a backup flash bulb any backup cables an extension cord all right so that that would be like another box or what you guys can also do as you guys can do uh, something like this. So I have, where is it? Um, I have this one right here, event props. So right in here, guys, I have my tablecloth and my event props as well. 
This is the one that I'm going to be taking to the wedding here today because it has special signage for, for weddings. And then <clears throat> one thing too to know, guys, and I'm giving you all this information so that you guys can start really trying to visualize yourselves at the event. All right, so the things that you're going to need is a backdrop like this. And keep in mind, I bought many, many backdrops. In fact, I have these uh, boxes right here, you know, more backdrops in there. And I bought different materials of backdrops. And and this one right here, guys, I love it because when you guys when you guys buy it and it arrives, you guys know that it feels like like pajamas. One, one of my uh, attendants says, wow, these are so soft. They're like pajamas. I said, yeah, they are soft. So that means that you can easily remove the wrinkles and it doesn't wrinkle easily too to begin with. On top of that, I'm gonna show you guys something that I also find pretty interesting. Look at this. These are the ones that I used to buy. This would be the base. So notice the grand difference. This is a lot more st stable. I love the width. There's actually one that's, believe it or not, a little thinner than this, and then something in between, and then your 12 centimeter, and then your 16 centimeter. So there's some of these that are huge, very, very wide. But for a backdrop like this, this is the perfect size. Right here, 12 centimeter. And this, by the way, is eight by eight. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because backdrops are a necessity for any photo booth company. And so this is, I have two more of these bags because I went through more suppliers, always testing out quality. And this is like a cheapy bag, right? But look at this, guys. Right here, you get a more durable bag. On top of that, you're able to fit all of that eight by eight frame inside of here. And you can even attach this here to all, all your uh, sticks together, which is another great thing because they're all numbered. So you guys can also get these backdrops on the, on the online store. And these of course are double-sided. So whenever you guys buy directly from my website to, to also support me to kind of create more content and you guys are also in a way um, trust in me, so I appreciate that, is that if we can go always two sides and there's never going to be an extra charge, so you can have one design in the back and then the, on the opposite end have a different, um, a different design, more bang for your buck the way I see it, and then less inventory you have to deal with. So at this point, I probably have over easily over 30 designs, so I probably have over 15 different backdrops probably a little bit more but some I'm not, I don't even use anymore just because of the quality I wasn't very happy with so I wanted to point that out the reason why is because when you guys buy a photo booth you definitely want to invest in some backdrops so this is why I'm showing you guys the backdrops and like I said I wasn't planning on making this video but everything just coming into uh fruition here because I wanted to make sure that eventually I made something like this for the community all right so now that you guys have your booth and your backdrop, you guys are going to be carrying a bag and uh, the, the case with the rollers in the bottom and then your last case for props. Now, I have noticed that some companies don't even offer props. And that's crazy, but it is what it is, all right? So if we want to just keep it really, really simple, then all we would do is bring a photo booth, DSLR, photo booth with a backdrop. Now, if we want to make it even more simple and they want to provide their own backdrop because they, ha they, they, they bought balloons and all that great stuff, then all you need to do really is pull up with, with an iPad DSLR booth like this right here. But if you guys want to really provide a crazy cool experience, it's going to take a little bit more time to set up, but you can charge a lot more and it'll look something like this. It'll look like the booth itself, right? And then the backdrop, right? And then the, the, the props. And on top of that, I, I'm downsizing guys from six foot tables 
I'm downsizing to four foot tables because uh, for my employees, I, I want I want them to have an easy time, you know, like I said, unloading, loading up. And so four foot tables that fold in half are gonna be way better than these six foot tables. Plus it'll take less props to fill up that four foot table. And you can just, you know, provide the best props. So it'll be so optimized in that sense. Now, if you guys wanna, here, let me welcome you into the rest of my home here. It, it's, it wasn't meant for this video, but here it is. Um, also, you guys can provide the physical print experience. So I would definitely recommend that within that production, you guys can upsell. If you guys go on my website, you know that I have prices. And then in the description, it says for an extra $99, you can add physical prints. And most folks always go ahead and just add those $99 and then they get unlimited physical prints, which then I can house in, in, a, in a nice case like this right here. And I know this looks corny, but I really hate it when, when the photos are printed out and people are putting their drinks on here. So as corny as this looks, it says keep clear. I'm going to come up with like a nice, you know, premium sign, like the signs I use for my audio guest book. So that's, that's that right there. You definitely want to offer the printer. So this is going to be it for now. This is probably the longest video. And, and if you're watching right now, you haven't clicked away, that means you're really interested. And just know that before you guys jump the gun, this is the type of information you guys need. Someone like me to really give you guys the pros and cons to the photo booth rental business. And the last thing I want to say, guys, is if you guys have been watching me for the last two years and you guys want to buy directly from me, then yes, you're going to have access to my email. You're going to have access to my phone number. And yes, I'm going to provide everyone that buys a photo booth from me. I'm going to sit down with you guys for an entire hour so that we can answer your questions and also go over a little coaching because over the last two years, I have found out that there are certain ways to rank quicker with your Google profile and also have a website that actually brings in leads. So that's me just trying to give you guys massive value and, and I want to set myself apart from other sellers, right? So on top of that, guys, I'm also going to provide you with photos and videos to market your photo booth rental business if you buy Mr. Professional right here uh, from my website. And so it's going to be shipped directly to your door. It's going to have a one-year warranty. More on that later. I didn't really want to make this video to, to sell, sell, sell. I wanted to make this video to give you guys an idea of how much I've grown and how much I've actually learned during this photo booth business journey from upgrading the backdrops to better material to better basis, from switching to bigger boxes to more compact boxes for the employees and contractors, uh, from changing it up and, and going with the smaller cases and the 360 booths to showing you guys how versatile a photo booth can be because it can do GIFs, videos, and photos, and a 360 is limited to uh, 28 second videos. Do understand? I do understand that there are other companies, software companies, that will allow you to export a 360 video that's past the 30 second threshold, which I find pretty amazing. More on that later. And this is it, guys. Uh, as soon as I finish cleaning all this up, I'm going to show you guys how we get our photo booth attendants to come in and load up and take off. And what we do is we we set them up for success. We do some of the tedious work here, where all they have to do is just quickly set up and have fun with our clients and provide that incredible experience. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Take care guys, peace.